Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Infinity 2 The Cursed Gem. This is Miles Luigi. And guess who this is? This is the Evil Pop Tart! Yes, I have returned! Evil Pop Tart is with us as yes, we enter Iggy's castle. And I so. get to apparently uh, go in a castle with Miles today. Mm-hmm. Ooh. This castle looks very Super Mario 1 ish. A anyway, I might as well start off right off the bat with a question I'm certain our audience really, 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 really wants an answer to. Do you want to fudge? You want any background do information? Do you want fudge? I don't know if I want fudge. <laughs> do you need any background information, or do you know what the question is already? No, I don't know what the question is. Alright. So, in this game, to complete it 100%, you have to play the bonus game once, which in Super Mario World, you know, you collect bonus stars at the end of the, end of the stage, you play the bonus game, you're good to go. In this game, all the gates have been gimped in some way, shape, or form. That is, if you get to the gates, you're only able to hit the bottom of the gates, such that you're only able to get sometimes 5, sometimes 10 bonus stars. Still fair enough, but here's the real bullshit part. In order to actually collect those bonus stars and have it add to your collection, you have to collect all 5 star trinkets in the level. Which means, in order to collect bonus stars, you have to get all 5 star trinkets in the level, then you reach the end of the level where you're able to either collect 5 or 10 bonus stars. There's only one little hint that tells you you have to do this. And here's the last little bullshit point. And this is something I learned from both what I read in forum boards and from Yoshi. You're not able to go back to levels to collect star trinkets, apparently. Once you play through a level once, the star trinkets disappear. So that's why I haven't gone back to World 1 yet, to collect the star trinkets in that level. So that means you can actually screw yourself out of completing this game 100%. I'm not an elitist, so why do I care? I beat it. So basically, if you want to complete this game 100%, you have to know ahead of time to collect the star trinkets, and preferably in the early le or levels. Okay. Exactly. So throughout this Let's Play, I'm going to die. Throughout this Let's Play, I've been making a huge malarkey on the star trinket issue. I've been going out of my way in levels where it's actually worth it. The castle levels, there's no bonus tapes, there's no point in collecting the star trinkets in a castle level. But, uh, I've even killed off a Luigi. That's how bad it is. <coughs> Can't you give so, him more lives? Give him more lives. Luigi deserves to live! So the question is, shenanigan meter. What does that deserve on the shenanigan meter? A 12, because you killed Luigi, damn it. <laughs> okay. How dare wow. you kill Luigi? <laughs> He's your brother, bring... you fat ass Italian plumber. I can bring Luigi back. You better bring him back. At least give him one goddamn life so he can live. Even though it's only one life, he does deserve at least one life. I suppose. Why in the world are the rocks here purple? Puke-stained purple rocks. They're stained with Yoshi blood. Yikes. And I don't know if Yoshi's <laughs> bleed purple or not. What the hell are you supposed to do? Oh, I think I'm supposed to rise here. You, yeah. you just made me think of like a Super Mario Sunshine Yoshi spewing out whatever in the world fruit gives you grape juice again. Well, yeah, it was actually the grapes. <laughs> Could use a Super Mario Sunshine Yoshi at the moment. There's no water nearby. He'd be useful. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, whatever. So, I bet you all wondering what I've been up to. Yeah. Yeah, I've been kind of busy with work, but otherwise, other than that, I was browsing on my phone one day, and I just happened to do a search um, on the App Store on my iPhone. And I came across an old-fashioned game that I haven't played in a while that I've been playing the shit out of again. Explain. It is about four meg in size, maybe. It's been converted to the iPhone, iPad, whatever. I didn't have to pay for it. It's free. Well, the free version, anyway. I don't know how long the free version lasts, but it's lasting pretty good, as far as I can see. Um, I just got done downloading the version on PC, because I don't want to waste my phone battery. And it's a game from... Uh, give me a sec, I'm looking right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, while I'm busy platform with platforms, go ahead and look it up. I'm really curious what this game is. It's free, apparently it's a good old goodie, you, you say it is, and it's been ported to the iPhone? Yes. Except I have the Wikipedia in here. Uno momento! My doesn't show me in the fucking about. <laughs> about. Error. You erred on the about screen? What kind of program is this? Oh wow, I entered a new area. With the midway point. 
Well, it didn't error me out totally. Okay, here we go. Original release date, May of 2002 for the Pocket PC and right. Palm. December of 2002 for the mobile phone. September 13th, 2003, Mac why OS. We, April why don't you 13th. you hold your point, because we got something important here. Oh, fudge, I missed it. Huh. iPhone, April 24th, 2007. There. Huh, where's the Koopa Kid? Hmm, that desert plateau over there looks suspicious. I can probably get there using this plane. Are we going to go on a plane ride? What? fuck is this? Oh, you just fell I... off your damn plane. <laughs> Let's try that again. I fell off immediately. Wow. We need to hold right. The wind's pushing me back. Oh, Look, so it looks like this level's full of tons and tons of auto-scrolling, so you may continue with uh, the game you were talking about. So I literally have nothing to talk about at the moment. Okay, sorry. So, uh, let's see here. Oh, here we go. It came out on the iPhone April 24, 2007. But it's been out for a lot of stuff since like 2002. Anyway, uh, let's see. It arounds selling lemons in cups with sugar and ice cubes. And I turn into a huge tycoon and build a lemonade empire. You've been building anticipation for what this game is for three minutes. I know. <laughs> can our audience guess it by now? Oh, or yeah. should you just name it alright? No, they can guess it by now. I'm fucking playing Lemonade Tycoon, damn it. <laughs> is that anything like Roller Coaster Tycoon? Because I have to admit, I've never played Lemonade Tycoon. Lemonade Tycoon was actually the very first one before Roller Coaster Tycoon, but yes, it kinda is, except all you do is sell fucking lemonade to everybody and charge. My main goal in Lemonade Tycoon is to charge somebody like $20 for a cup of lemonade. <laughs> $20 for a cup of lemonade. You, you need to locate yourself in like the desert to do something like that. Well, you can go to the train station, you can go to the stadium. Um, lemonade Tycoon 1, I, I remember really well. I never played Lemonade Tycoon 2. I wish I could find a copy of it somewhere and play it. Because I guess in that one you can have multiple stands in multiple locations instead of having one stand in one location and make like double the money and like... I don't know, I haven't played it. I haven't found a, uh, um, a copy, quote-unquote, of it anywhere, anywhere. Yeah. So, I'm looking for one, so I probably might just buy it off Amazon if it's like five bucks. But, otherwise, other than that, yes, I'm playing the original Lemonade Tycoon. But it's not all bad. It seems kind of boring. But it actually teaches you profit, gain, marginal loss, gross profits. Gives you all these awesome statistics. Like your marketing scheme, your total expenses, your revenue, your stock used, the stock lost. It's a very good, interesting tool for teaching you how to own your own business. Having real-life world statistics. Instead of playing Call of Duty, shooting people, you could be playing Lemonade Tycoon! And learning stuff about real-world stuff that is actually useful. Instead of learning how to shoot people. Not that shooting people isn't fun, you just don't learn how to actually run a business doing that. So yes, technically if you play Lemonade Tycoon, you could run your own business. Okay, do these hurt me? Oh my gosh, they do, yes. What? What the fuck do those things hurt you for? I, I don't know, oh fudge, this is ludicrous speed. Damn it. It's just like marshmallow bullets. No okay, I, I think we got the idea long enough, game, that this is a plane ride. Why is this still going on? This is just masquerading auto-scrolling sections. Hmm. On a side note, I left my computer on at work. It just now logged in TeamViewer. Really? Yeah, I'm wondering who's on my computer. I should scare the shit out of him and log into it and go, Why are you on my computer? <laughs> just in the background, play an auto file that says, Why are you on my computer? Is all scrolling going to kill me? Darn it! Grr. Anyway, this is Iggy, so why don't we go ahead and kill Iggy? Fudge, damn it. That wasn't Iggy that killed me, it was the fireball, and I'm sure as hell I'm not going through that all scrolling section again. Damn it. Damn it! I apparently cannot beat a simple boss in Super Mario World today. Well, it's kind of hard when you got bouncing things coming out of the lava. There you go. Burn and rights as fire, you son of a bitch. I specifically remember Iggy, well, normally Iggy appears in World 1, but the Iggy clone, whoever in the world that is again, appearing in World 7 in a castle with a line guide path, and basically all you do is you bring two feathers in that level, and boom, you can tank the boss like a... 
just tank the boss. Okay, anyway, we're going to blow up a, a mysterious mountain in the background. We were on the machine mountain, but it sure as hell doesn't look very much like machines. Anyway, apparently Bowser still has technology to use the magic wand to gain. The question is, how long will it last? The real question is, where is Bowser? This game is telling a lie. Anyway, let's, I guess, take that really boring airplane ride on the overworld map to... Desert Plateau 1, and why don't we go ahead and do that right away as our last level for the video. It's a desert this crap. Looks like a desert fudge. I'm gonna die. You realize you go. just said that before you did the reset state because you knew you were gonna bite it. <laughs> that was a very badly executed jump, as is like every other jump I'm making. <laughs> like this jump, good jump. Next jump, bad jump. This jump, good jump. Next jump, bad jump. It Let's kill that amazing flying hammer, brother. Anyway, this is a good level to go on that star trinket issue, because now we're in a regular level. It's in my interest to find five star fudge trinkets. I tell you so. Which may or may not involve falling into bottomless pits. You gotta jump on the thing here, I think. I'm thinking so too. There we go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Today is not my day, kids. No, today is not your day to be playing Super Mario or whatever. <laughs> the name of the heck is Super Mario Infinity 2 The Cursed Gem. Yes, yes. You never did buy that Super Nintendo USB controller, did, that, did you? No, I'm still using my Logitech controller. I'd have to look at the back to look at the specific model, but it fits my needs very well. Okay. Why are you recommending an actual Super Nintendo controller so I could pretend I'm actually playing a real Super Mario World game, even though this is a Super Mario World hack? Sure, why not? You've seen mine, I've got one. But really? then I wouldn't have the second set of solder buttons that I can use for save states. Where the hell are the star trinkets in this level? Do I might need to bring a cape to this level. I will agree, save states are nice on a controller, but... Yeah. Yeah, I might just have to... All the Star Trinkets are probably in the air, and I have to fly through this level to get them all, probably. That's what I'm guessing, because I haven't seen any yet. Anything? Anything? Oh, there we go. Shrooms. <laughs> we try every single thing, and we'll get something eventually. Watch, there's going to be a hidden third roll. No, never mind. Darn it. Buy my lemonade, damn you! <laughs> you are in the desert now. <laughs> I know. Buy my Charge lemonade. I'm selling lemonade. Bucks. Right now I'm selling lemonade for. How am I selling my lemonade for? Dollar forty. I'm making a dollar twenty cup for profit. Buy my f lemonade or else. Wow, slow down. Yeah, yeah. Because I have not seen any star trinkets this level whatsoever. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and kill myself. Break it by flying. There we go. Do 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 do. Break it by flying, and then see if the star trinkets are in the air. And if they're not, then I guess we'll have another level. We'll add to the fu known clock collecting star trinkets list. Okay. Apparently, it's 98 degrees out, and nobody wants to buy lemonade for freaking a dollar forty. What the hell? There we go. Desert. Wait. Desert plateau. Did I read that right? Uh, I made a note of that because this game is going on alliteration for a while, but Desert Plateau doesn't alliterate. Alliterations are Here. illiterate. <laughs> oh, thank God for Tanuki. I think that's a keyhole down there. And right now the enemy's in the way, but I think I. No, maybe my no, eyes that was just a shell. shell. I was just saying, no. That looked like a keyhole at first. Negative Ghost Rider. Shucks. Alright, let's get myself some room and get back to flying. Here we go. Any star trinkets in the air? Come on, star trinkets, star trinkets, you're driving me crazy! Where the fuck are you? Don't tell me Kratos of Engo has piled them all on the end on this level to troll people like me.
Alright, I'm assuming I'm supposed to P-switch this. Screw you. I have a Tanuki. <laughs> Screw you, I have Tanuki Tail. Screw the rules, I have a Tanuki. There we go. Anyway, this is what happens at the end of most levels. You see how gimped the goal is? You see I can't get 40 or 50? I'm forced to get 5 or 6 at the most? Yeah, why was that? I never did understand that yet. So you have to collect your way up to the bony scheme, slowly and surely. What uh, kind of shit yes. is that? That's why I asked you to give this a shenanigan rating. Do you 12. think it still deserves the 12? Yeah, it gets a 12. Anyway, give on the next episode... Give one life to Luigi, damn you. Fine, on the next episode of... Darn it, <laughs> wrong button. On the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Infinity 2, the Cursed Gem, we are going to take on Desert Plateau 2. And there, I gave Luigi one life. Thanks. See you next time. He deserves to live. <laughs> this has been Miles Luigi. And the Evil Pop-Tart.